Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will study about regular expressions in Oracle. So let us first understand what regular expression is. Regular expression are the methods of describing both simple and complex patterns which are generally used for searching and manipulating. Oracle offers various functions uh, related to reject regular expressions and they are regex like, regex in string, regex replace, regex substring and regex count. In this video we will be focusing on regex like but I'll explain you in short what all these functions do. So regex like it is similar to the like operator but as I said in the uh, re regular expression definition that it performs regular expression matching instead of simple pattern matching. Then we have a regular expression in string. It searches for a given string for a regular expression pattern and it returns the portion, position where the uh, match is found. Then we have a reg a regex replace. It searches for a regular expression pattern and replaces it with a replacement string. Then we have a uh, regex substring. It searches for a regular expression pattern with a given string and returns the match string. So as the name suggests, they are performing the like operator function in string replace substring, but mm, with the regular expression patterns now. And the last one is a regular expression count. So it is basically used to count the number of times that a pattern occurs in a string. So this was a brief introduction on the various uh, functions which Oracle offers related to regular expressions. Now I'll walk you through a sheet. Uh, it basically covers all the uh, characters uh, and what does they mean, uh, which will help us to frame our queries. Okay. So the first one is the star. It matches zero or more occurrences then alternate so in alternate whether either this or that then you have carrot sign or dollar sign so carrot sign matches the uh, start from the start of the line and uh, dollar at the end of the line and then we have brackets so basically it consists of the patterns inside it and it looks for that pattern in the uh, search string and if we have a carrot sign inside the bracket it negates the expression whatever it's inside it. So negates means it uh, do like if it is a uh, caret a it will look all for all the patterns which is except a okay. Then we have uh, uh, curly braces m so it looks for a particular pattern um, m times and the pattern is defined before it we'll see we'll see uh, how once we start and go on the SQL developer we'll see all those things. And then we have m comma n is like it matches at the same times but not more than n times and then we have something called bracket inside that we have colon and it ends with a colon so it is these basically used to space help us to specify the character class and then it matches any string in that class so we have uh, al now it matches all the alphanumeric characters then we have alpha matches all the alphabetic characters a to z like all the alphabetical characters from small like a small a to z is for a small lower case and a to z is for the uh, uppercase and so on. Then we have plus symbol which matches one or more occurrences. Question mark symbol matches zero or one occurrences and then uh, we have full stop which basically matches any character in the supported character set. Okay. It matches for all except none. And when we want to group the expression we use the uh, brackets or uh, this grouping brackets and for equivalence classes we use equal to equal to slash and is used for back reference expressions and uh, so and uh, uh, dot dot inside the bracket is specifies one collation element such as multi character elements okay and then we have uh, slash d which for uh, slash d operator is used for matching a digital uh, sorry digit character then capital D non digit character w for matching a word character capital W for non-word character and so on and I'll uh, try to share this uh, document with you all. Now coming to the uh, 
SQL developer. So we'll be playing, playing around with these two tables, employees and departments. Let me, I have prepared a few queries. Let us execute each of them and try to understand what does they mean. Okay. So the first uh, query basically uh, do star search on your employees where the first name, okay, where the first name rejects like pattern where the it's A to Z. So every character from A to Z, if your first name consists them uh, consists of them, are in caps because we have mentioned it is in capital. So it should replace. Uh, it should uh, return us uh, all those uh, rows. Okay, let's execute and see this. So here, if you see the first name where we have A, B, D, A, G, E, all those which lies in the range of A to G, and uh, which has and and they are in capital. Okay, so it look for this particular uh, pattern A from A to G, and it should be caps whatever the first name which consists of this pattern it will return us and it has returned us. Okay, now come to the next statement. Okay. So next statement is again uh, we do star from our employees table and now we look on the last name. So last name. So it's like A to Z till how uh, how uh, till how like it, it you see the definition here. It should match exactly m times. So the first word in the last name should be anything any alphabetical. Uh, any alphabet and uh, it should be capital and the next should be again any alphabetical name I'm sorry any any alphabet but it should be smaller and then after that it should be capital so hope you would have understood the uh, so here we are using the character class which I have showed here also if you see we had a character class and what does this mean it matches all the uppercase alphabets so basically the first letter should be capital the second should be small and the third should be capital and we are doing the search on last name. Let let us execute this query and see. So see, we got two records where the last name, the first character is capital, the second is small and the third is capital. Now, let us execute the third statement and see. So third statement, we are extracting the first name and the last name where the first name so the carrot symbol, the carrot symbol, and it is not inside the bracket. So it, it, it is not doing the negative work. It is actually looking at the starting So the start. The first name should start with STE. Okay. After that we have brackets. So, uh, so we are grouping either V or PH though the first three letters should be STE and then the next letter should be either V and PH. And after that, uh, en sh should be at the end. Let us execute this and see. For end, we are using the dollar symbol. So see, we have ste in all, then v and then en here. Ste and then ph. So either it looks for v, alternate ph. Hope uh, this is also clear now. Now let us try executing this query. So now before executing it. Uh, let us understand what does this uh, this query mean. So we are looking for all the employees, okay, where the last name, the uh, the characters in the last name should be the upper because we have mentioned it in uppercase. So if the last name consists of the characters A E I O U or vowels, and if they are in capital. It should look for that. Let us execute this query and see. So here we got all you see these all those um, the, these five characters which are capital we are getting. So we can use this query to get the um, where the last name is like uh, A E I O U. Okay, like our vowel. Now let us see this one. So here, if you see, we have total 13 records. Okay. And 
now if we want keep by uh, if we want that the first character should be a uh, capital so for that we have given this uh, caret symbol and now let us execute this and see now we get 12 records so if we want the last name to start with a vowel we can use this now let us see what is the difference here why here it was 13 records because now if you see this particular name here e is in capital so it does search on all the uh, like characters which are there in the last name and here if we specify caret it means it will search only at the start so i'll i request you all to go through this uh, document because it will help you to understand the concept now coming back here so now let us run this statement and see and i'll explain you what does the statement mean so again here we are looking for the last name where the last name is anything like a e i o u slash n so what does this slash and this it is basically the back reference expression so it looks like if it can be if anything this number one can be from one to nine so if whatever is match like a e i whatever is match and then you have to again search for that okay so if say a is match the next character should be a and when we specify uh, i i is basically it makes you like it can search uh, it makes case insensitive okay let us i think i have included this one also matches irrespective of the case so it will match for both capital and small let us see and we should get the last name where we have two vowels and consecutives okay let us execute and see so now you see the last name here b l double o then h a double a f double e g double e r e r double e like that okay k h double o l double e hope this is also clear for you now let us run this one okay and here now we are querying our department tables and we are checking if the manager id is number let me execute this without this condition and show you first here we get around 27 records and but here are some records where manager id is null now if we want to search where the manager id is a digit so let us execute and we should get only the manager ids where the manager ids are digit now come to the next statement here we are querying our employees table and we are checking the first digit should be from 0 to 9 okay and we have specified this tick to be three times then small uh, sorry uh, full stop what does this mean let us check so it basically mean it matches any character okay so either it can be uh, dot star slash anything okay and then it checks again uh, 0 to 9 three digits and then 0 to 9 three digits now let me first query the employees table and show you the four number field uh, four number field yeah so you have numbers like this so we have this 3.2.4 like that and we have 3.3.4 like i'm i'm saying in terms of number of digits so what we are seeing we are seeing that there should be first three digits then dot then three digits then like that so let us execute and see so now we get only this and we don't have okay and why we are getting these because it after that we are not specified anything now so this th till here the conditions are satisfied like till 9 okay now let us execute this one again we have four number we are checking 0 to 9 three times and here minimum two times and maximum three times and then we should have four okay now let us check so now we have c 
three digits dot minimum two digits so we have these also and then four digits okay and we have it here now let us execute this one and see it looks for uh, three digits then two digits and then we have given backslash dot backslash dot means it should not consider it as character like if we remove this we'll get everything like three digits then two digits and then anything okay dot plus okay Be uh, because plus plus means matches one or more occurrences and dot it matches any character so it is fulfilling and we are getting every like 107 records all the records now what if if we give it as backslash so it will look for three digits then two digits then backslash it will look for this particular character full stop let us see so now we get only 35 records three digits then some character then two digits then uh, full stop and then anything now let us here also add this backslash so this particular record 145 should not come let us execute and say this so now we have only 34 records and 145 is not there because it has it had star okay so now let us come to our last statement so this one basically see it again do star on employees and we look for the phone number table sorry phone number column where the first character is 5 and then anything can be there let us execute this see we got all the phone numbers which start with 5 hope uh, you would have understood this video if so I will request you to give up give us thumbs up like our channel subscribe the channel and share it with your friends thank you